to Hebrews chapter number 7. Let me start from verse number 11. I'll be picking some verses. Now, if perfection had been attainable through the Levitical priesthood, what further need would there have been for another priest to rise after the order of Melchizedek? Now, if by the means of the law people could reach to God, why did Christ come to die? If tithes could go to God, why did Christ die? Because you have people now who are in this madness of paying tithes, keep receipts, go to the prayer mountain with their tithes, spray the receipts down and say, God, I'm thankful. Now do your work. If tithes could take people to God, why did Christ die? If the Sabbath day could take people to God, why did Christ die? Are we not falling in the same ditch through which Israel fell? If perfection could be attained by the law, what you need was there for Christ to come. I will repeat this about 11 of Hebrews. Now if perfection had been attainable through the Levitical priesthood, what further need would there have been for another priest to arise after the order of Melchizedek? If your receipts of tithes could bring you to perfection, what you need was there for Christ to die. Those times you esteem so much, you boast. For me, I don't even try to admit, I try to be gross. Get away with your gross! God does not receive you on account of tithing. God receives you on account of the righteousness imputed to you through the gift of faith in Christ Jesus. If you are giving, you are giving because Christ is expressing his love through you. You don't say, God has given, now receive me. No, we say, God, you gave us. We believe in what you gave us. We believe in the blood of Christ. We believe in adoption through Christ. Now receive us on account of the work done by Christ. We don't say, God, check my receipts Check how much I gave. Check how I'm helping the poor. Now receive me. That's the wrong system. The correct system is, God, you gave us the only begotten son. I believe in you begotten son. Now I'm giving because your son is expressing himself through me. We don't go to God on account of what we do. We go to God on account of what he did to mankind. The gift of the begotten son, Jesus Christ. Are you not falling in the same dish through which Israel fell? Are you not falling in the same dish? Solomon is saying, this is an evil disease. Don't you have an evil disease? The same disease Israel had. Israel thought we are the ones chosen of God, with the promises, with the commandments, God loves us. And God says, I don't give you the power to eat thereof, because this is due to your works. Those who are going to eat thereof should eat on account of what my son did for mankind. 